ఆకాశవాణి రెండు వేల ఇరవై నాలుగు పార్లమెంటు ఎన్నికల్లో భద్రత ఏర్పాట్లపై తెలంగాణ రాష్ట్ర పోలీస్ డైరెక్టర్ జనరల్ శ్రీ రవి గుప్తా గారితో ప్రత్యేక ముఖాముఖి కార్యక్రమం వింటారు election the coming polls at the outset thank you for calling me and as far as your question is concerned telangana state police is fully prepared for the peaceful conduct of elections i mean i must should say we have taken a number of steps to ensure the same to begin with we have about three bordering states and we have conducted interstate coordination meetings mm. to ensure that there is no movement of cash liquor and other freebies and other materials across the borders and uh, unwanted people also so that we have taken care we have conducted training for all the personnel of the police force mm-hmm. so that they know what they have to do and what is their duty we have set up 89 interstate border checkposts with all the bordering states to curb the flow of illegal cash liquor and narcotics etc as i said earlier and we have deployed three flying squad teams mm-hmm. per assembly constituency and also three static surveillance teams in each and every assembly constituency to ensure there is no movement of such made material during the elections sir apart from that how many polling stations have been identified as vulnerable in the state see after studying the local situation in each polling station and the polling location we have classified into three categories one is normal one is critical one is extremist affected we have about 16305 polling locations which are normal 3108 polling locations which are critical and 285 polling locations have been identified to be extremist affected so accordingly we are planning to keep keep bandobast at each location depending on the scale or the category in which it falls so then district collectors some of the district collectors actually requested for additional forces so what is the reason sir see depending on the local situation where any violence or any problem is uh, expected they will request for extra force and we'll take care of that acha then according to election commission polling station set up for the assembly elections will be the same uh, for uh, parliamentary elections also making the process little bit easier since the police already had a, a thorough knowledge of its sensitivity what do you say see about? almost all the polling stations are the same and uh, in november we had this elections it was absolutely peaceful there was no ripoll and no major incident so with this experience will come in good use and accordingly similar bandobas will plan this time also so that we have peaceful conduct of elections recently you have visited to left wing extremist areas so what is the uh, outcome of that visit sir do you find uh, difficulties in those areas yes the visit was to get a first hand experience of uh, the situation at the ground level and uh, in fact i visited with my team of officers we visited the most interior areas and the crpf camps and uh, assessed the situation so accordingly there is some information about the activities of extremist uh, elements and accordingly we'll take action we'll plan patrolling and combing operations accordingly sir in addition to the existing forces how much has force have been asked by the election commission for deployment in the parliament elections we have been allotted 160 companies of paramilitary forces for the elections 60 have already come 100 are on the way they will come soon and the total 160 will, companies will come apart from that we have about 6000 home guards which will be coming from karnataka chatisgarh and tamil nadu states to assist us during the elections then coming to hyderabad and chikindrabad constituencies we are aware that the hyderabad parliamentary constituency is more sensitive uh, than the other if you see the campaign trail in recent days it's a rat taking different turn with the bjp and mim uh, mostly they are uh, publicizing about the religious issues so with the police mission is geared up to avert any untoward incidents sir see we have kept a special watch on all communal elements whichever party whichever religion he, he or she might be and accordingly they have been bound over to maintain good behavior and anything which comes to our notice action is taken immediately so that it does not flare up and we do not have a law and order situation and what are the steps taken taken to ensure campaign by political parties and the candidates does not vitiate the atmosphere in town and villages the election commission of india has already issued a model code of conduct which is expected to be followed by all political parties and also all officers and government machinery so any violation of the guidelines which are there in the mcc will be dealt with firmly and any other task taken up as a head of the state for free and fair elections in the state keeping in view the telangana topography see we have 17 parliamentary constituencies and for each constituency a senior officer of the rank of commissioner of police or a superintendent of police has been made the nodal officer and we have about 119 assembly constituencies 
and for each assembly constituency a senior officer of the rank of additional sp or dcp has been made the nodal officer who will personally be there and uh, ensure that uh, elections are conducted in a peaceful manner then uh, what message would you like to send to the across the state the political parties as well as the voters to improve the voting percentage see to improve the voting percentage we can only appeal to the general public and to all citizens of the state and of course the country to come forward to come out of the houses and definitely they should vote it's a responsibility and a duty it's just not a right it's a duty also to come out and vote so i would request all to come out and definitely vote so then in the special efforts to instill confidence among the youth as around 10 lakh new voters are enrolled in the state see as we are all aware the new uh, voters that is the youth they are much more aware than us they are aware of the social media they are very much active on the social media and uh, the dance of democracy will definitely happen and they will be more than happy to come forward and vote and in fact many of them i interacted with they were in fact looking forward to come out and cast their vote this time very good sign in that so how is the police actually going to instill confidence among voters so that they participate in voting process without any fear especially in the vulnerable areas see a number of steps have been taken towards this effect what happens is the visibility of the police force that is by flag marches area domination exercises and being available physically available in the field that will instill a confidence in the minds of the public that yes somebody is there who will help them in case of need and they will come forward without any fear thank you ravi gupta ji you have told uh, so many valuable issues uh, to our uh, akashwani listeners thank you very much thank you very much ఇంతవరకు మీరు రెండు వేల ఇరవై నాలుగు పార్లమెంట్ ఎన్నికల్లో భద్రత ఏర్పాట్లపై తెలంగాణ రాష్ట్ర పోలీస్ డైరెక్టర్ జనరల్ శ్రీ రవి గుప్తా గారితో ప్రత్యేక ముఖాముఖి కార్యక్రమం విన్నారు సంభాషించిన వారు శ్రీ ఎం శ్రీనివాస్ మహేష్ ఐఐఎస్ ప్రాంతీయ వార్తా విభాగం అధిపతి ఈ కార్యక్రమం ఆకాశవాణి హైదరాబాద్ కేంద్రం ప్రాంతీయ వార్తా విభాగం వారి సమర్పణ